how to use the rows function in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this function explain video series, I'm going to talk about how you can use the rows function in Microsoft Excel. Before starting, I want you to take a moment and please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. Let's get started. <laughs> Now I'm going to write the rows function here and while I use the rows function, I'm going to walk you through how you can use it. Okay, write equal to and then write rows and you can see the tooltip says returns the number of rows in a reference or array. Okay, now click here, it's asking for array. You can write a cell address here, close parenthesis and press enter and it says one. Okay, that means the cell address you have given has only one row. Let's change this and select a range here. Okay, now close parenthesis and you can see it says 10 rows. Okay, that means I have selected 10 cell that 10 cell is in 10 rows. Okay, it just counts how many rows you have inside your selection. Now, why is this important? Now, if I write here, let's say cell H2. Now fix that and then write colon and then write H2 again. If I press enter it says 1 right because from cell h2 to cell h2 you will have only one row but if I drag this formula you can see I have a serial number because the second cell we have our first parameter h2 is fixed and the second one is not fixed that's why if I drag it it says from h2 to h3 okay and from h2 to h3 we have two rows and in this way we can drag and we can get a serial number of how many rows we have inside our or selection this is what the rows function for and I have used this rows function when I create a searchable drop-down list and you'll find an excellent example how you can use the rows function and how much helpful it is okay now I'm adding the link here and I want you to watch that video and you will get a complete sense how you can use the rows function and what are the benefits okay so this is what I wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can please subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me. Thank you. Thanks for watching.